Fight Night Champion community, we have a problem. And the problem is, is people like my opponent today, Kilimanjaro898, who's the ranked number 32nd fighter in the top 100 right now, with a 1,027 wins to only 342 win-loss record, which means that he's a great fighter on paper. But the question is, is why is he such a good fighter on paper? How is he steamrolling through so many fighters when he plays like he plays against me? And that's the problem. The problem is, is that we're letting bums like him run roughshod in the fight night champion community with Mike Tyson, thinking that his overwhelming power and his overwhelming pressure was going to be enough to put me away. But really all it did was just activate my God mode. My skills are already godlike as is. But in this fight, I really only had to use 3% of my skill. Because that's all I need in order to beat people like him who like to bum rush and bully me with pressure and punches the whole fight. And this was funny because this guy was really out here throwing over 100 punches around thinking that I wasn't going to use my superior boxing IQ and ring smarts to outsmart him and outpoint him so that way I can take him to that deep water because like most of the top 100 none of these bastards know how to swim that's just what it is and I don't really know what his problem was trying to approach the fight at me like the way he did I don't know if someone slapped his mom or something before he got on the Xbox but if he was trying to take his anger out on me, then he took it out on the wrong person because I got a whole lot of anger that I need to reflect right back to him. In fact, I've got decades and decades of anger, and I've got more if he comes back. But the truth is, is he's not coming back because he's a pussy. Let's look at the fourth round as a matter of fact, and you can see that he was throwing a multitude of punches. But then you can look at my punch rate, 26 for 30 with an 86% connect rate. You know, that's what I mean when I say superior ring IQ because my numbers are out there don't even look like boxing numbers. It looks like Tom Brady in the playoffs. That's how great I was this fight. And this fight just goes to show you on how great of an esports boxer that I am on a very consistent basis. Because once again, this fight is another example of what happens on the top 100 level of Fight Night Champion. More rage quitting, more cowards, more suckers. And once again, it's left up to me, an old man who's been playing video game boxing since the 80s, in order to clean up the top 100 to make it a better place for all. I don't care if you like me or not, just know that what I'm doing is for your benefit. I'm doing this to clean up clowns out of here like Kilimanjaro 898 from doing what he's doing, thinking that he can just come in here and blitz someone of my caliber. No. So I would like you, the viewer, to use this video as a teaching and a learning experience on what to do against people who pick Mike Tyson and want to bum rush you and blitz you with non-stop punches thinking that you're going to fold under pressure. Well. One of the rules of big dick boxing is, is to not fold under pressure because we swim in that deep water when we big dick box. And this is a personal message to you, Kilimanjaro898. You know, I don't appreciate how you ended the fight the way you did, especially when you had to come to terms with the fact that I was willing to fight just as dirty as you would. So when you got a taste of your own medicine, you decide to act like a bitch and a coward. And you know how I feel about people who end the fight the way that you do. I personally think that there needs to be capital punishment. And for you specifically, I have a special capital punishment for you. Since you do go by the name of Kilimanjaro, I think you should go ahead and take a flight over to Africa to go visit Mount Kilimanjaro. And I want you to climb as high as you can. I want you to reach the peak top of that mountain.
then I want you to spread your arms and then I want you to take that jump and fly away <laughs> if you get my drift and if you need help with that I'll be glad to help you too I'll be glad to give you a nice good heave ho off of that mountain all you got to do is just show up and I'll meet you right there up at the top because the same way that you're gonna fall off that mountain is the same way that I made you fall off the top 100 leaderboards after I dominated you from pillar to post so much so to the point where I made you question your own existence and made you not want to even continue I made you quit on yourself and you need to go ahead and uninstall this game from your Xbox and quit online gaming entirely don't ever come back to my ring again you weak ass bitch
Rams. Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Halfway through this round here. Body shot from left hand. So conservative, you could just outwork him a little. Blocks away that headshot.
Oh, what happened? It was just getting good, bitch. It was just getting good. Yeah, you don't like that, huh? Yeah, if you can fight dirty, I can fight dirty too. All that swinging that you're doing. You're throwing over 120 punches around and for what? Just to watch yourself get tired? That's the reason why you rage quit. Because you know you can't swim in that deep water. Because I was about to take your ass right down to the bottom of the ocean. Your bitch ass can't swim because you fucking suck. That was the worst Tyson I've ever seen. You think you could just press me? Bitch nigga, I invented pressure. You can't handle what I created. And that's why you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. You're not a top 100 fighter. You're a top 100 scrub, if that. Don't ever try that bullshit against me, bitch. I'm a motherfucking thug. Hey, hold on.